Hello everyone and welcome to Bloodborne. I have a really weird makeshift studio right now. Since I am not recording in my computer room, I'm actually recording on my couch. So it's kind of weird that I'm out here and everything's sort of weird. I have the mic like kind of stuck in my shirt for some reason because I can't seem to get it to sit anywhere else um, without it being too far away. So we're going to see how this works out for now. And obviously I'm going to figure out some better way to record from after this. Maybe I should just put my PlayStation into my computer room. Just hook up the PS4 and onto the, my monitor. That's probably what I should have done. But anyways, Bloodborne. So this game is amazing. I've already started a game, obviously. And um, this game is awesome. It's it's beautiful. It's, it's so beautiful. So let's just jump right into it. Um, I'm going to try to make this uh, playthrough be a little bit more serious. Uh, cause this is a very annoying game that I keep dying on. Like, it's so hard. It's so hard. So, let's start. Oh, yeah. Well. Yes, that's me. <laughs> well, you've come to the right well, thank you. I hope so. Yarnum is the home of blood Woo! You Good old Yarnum. But there's an outsider like yourself to begin with. Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you need a contract. Gonna need a contract, which for some reason that means I'm going to need to figure out who the hell I am. So let us start our contract. What is our name going to be? That's a great question. Um, I forgot, you guys can't actually see my me typing, so I'm going to just... Uh, I'm just gonna type in a, an, a very serious name. All right, so this is gonna be my name, the Mad Pooper. Um, should we be a girl or a boy? Uh, oh goodness, I, I, I don't know. Let's, let's just stay a boy, let's just stay a boy. No, I don't have anything against women. So the Mad Pooper is gonna be mature and he's going to be a uh, respectable line with faith in your pedigree. Cruel fate, face terrible hardships. He's gonna have a cruel fate. That's gonna he's gonna be. He's a cruel mad pooper. Uh, no, no change in gender. Age. I already said voice. He's gonna have a, a young voice. Build. Um. I don't know. Let's let's uh. Let's have him. Let's just adjust it ourselves. So the mad pooper is going to have tiny arms, tiny legs, tiny abdomen, tiny chest, tiny head. The Mad Pooper is super tiny. Um, he's also going to be super pale. God, his he hurts my eyes to look at. He's so bright. Um, red. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a beautiful man. This is the face of the Mad Pooper. This is definitely the face of the Mad Pooper. So he's super pale, but he's got, like, some... He's got a little bit of blush on, just so people know that, you know, he's always happy. Looks like the Joker if he like got super old. Oh, he's so beautiful. All right, so let's um tweak it. All right, now you know what. And he's gonna wear some glasses. He's gonna have some awesome like John Lennon glasses. Oh my God, yes. Nice and purple. Oh my god, he looks like a creepy dude that like approaches. He looks like a creepy hobo. This is great. This is great. So you can see my other guy. He's like totally normal and cool looking. Nope, not this one. This one is weird. All right, let's finish. Let's start. Let's finalize that contract and begin our quest to kill everything. Good. All signed and sealed. 
Yep, that's me, all signed and sealed. Ah, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. He's talking, but his mouth's not moving very much. <laughs> so I just realized we're in a hunter's dream. That, well, at least that's where this guy's usually at. Never really noticed that. Alright, so I'm super ready for this, guys. I'm, like, super duper ready. There's a lot of things that I'm realizing now that I didn't realize whenever I played it the first time. Holy fuck, that thing's scary. This thing scared the crap out of me. Why is it so creepy? Why? Why do they have to make it so creepy? Could've just been a cute little puppy. So this is like the werewolf coming into me, right? Or not? This game is very confusing, but you know, I like it. I like it so far. Oh god, and then these things. So they look terrifying, but they're actually my helpers, apparently. They look like something out of a freaking... Something out of like a college short film horror movie. But nope, they're... They're good guys, and they're gonna help me with my, through my ah, quests. You found yourself a hunter. Oh my god. I look so freaking cool. Alright. So I can punch. Alright, so I don't have anything yet. I don't believe. Nope. So, I can punch. Specs. Handwritten scrawl. Seek pale blood to transcend the hunt. Alright, so they just, this guy just threw me into this. He's just like, here, go do stuff. I'm sure you'll be fine. I think this door is closed. Yeah. Alright, so, I adore this game. It's, it's, it's pretty amazing. So this is the beginning of the second clip for Alex. Alex, don't keep this in. This is the beginning of the second clip. I freaking love this. I love everything about this game. It's just so great. But... So this is the first enemy, um, very difficult, remember rolling, or beware of beast. I'm just gonna try to run past it. Who? Yeah, that's good, that's good. Alright, what do you got for me, dude? Blood vial, alright, thank you. Oh god, I thought it was gone. Okay, <laughs> I guess we're running now, alright, okay. Let's leave. Goodbye, creepy thing. So, I can't remember where I get my first, like, weapon at. Um, looks like we're bullets. So I think I have to die first to, like, get to the hunter's dream or whatever, right? I think. Um, I don't remember. Like, I just started this game yesterday, but for some reason I can't remember, like, something so simple. But I do know we have to open up this first gate here. In the central yin yurn, um, I'm gonna punch the shit out of this guy over here. Oh, see, look, I got so tiny. <laughs> yeah, I like how there's just like... Oh, shit. I like how there's blood, even though, like... Even though, like, I'm just... Whoa, fuck. So I'm pretty sure I have to kill... I have to die. To get my weapons. Yeah, alright, there we go. See, that was supposed to happen. I wasn't supposed to last that long. Pretty sure I was supposed to die on the first guy. Hunter's Dream. This place is pretty beautiful. But I need to remember to get everything that there is here because there's an, I know there's a lot of stuff that I need to get here when I'm just starting off. So, for those of you who are not familiar with Dark Souls or Bloodborne or whatever, there's always going to be like this main hub where nothing can kill me for the most part. And, um, so now I have my two starter weapons. 
And this is, whole place is going to be like where everything goes down. Like I can go anywhere I want to here for the most part. Um, as long as I, why are there so many specters? How many people died here? How do you die at the freaking hunter's dream? Um, but anyways, can I go here? No, closed. Um, so I think that's all I really needed to do here was, uh, I don't have any echoes to do anything. So blood echoes are what you collect when you kill people. And that's basically this game's like currency form. Um, oh yeah, it doesn't really look like I can do much just yet. So I'm going to equip the things that I need to equip. I'm pretty sure I got a gun or something. Did I not get my gun yet? Huh, let me look. Um, no, I didn't get my gun yet. I thought I picked it up from this guy over here. Oh, I guess I didn't. Um, well, I think last time I got the blunderbuss or whatever, so I'm gonna get the pistol this time. See how this works. The blunderbuss is pretty weak. Um, I know I don't really do a lot of damage with it whenever I do shoot it. So, so basically, Bloodborne is set up instead of having like a sword and shield, which I think you can get a shield in this. But this is set up so that you have a gun and this badass thing. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! It looks like a freaking old school razor. Um, so that's how this game is set up. And now that I have my things that I need to get, I'm going to go back and I'm going to be able to kick some ass. And I will be able to end the first episode as soon as I get to the first, uh, whatchamacallit, get to the first bonfire or whatever. I don't know what they call it here. I call, I'm just going to keep calling them the bonfire because I'm not sure exactly what they call them in this game. Most healing churches are, oh, one of the, oh, okay. I was trying to read that. So now they're like, you got your shit now? Go fucking kick this guy's ass. And this is the easiest freaking werewolf I've seen so far. Because the ones that I've ran into in my personal playthrough are not this easy. And why am I sitting down? I did not say to sit down. Um, the one that I run into in my personal playthrough are very difficult. And that's probably going to be the easiest one I ever fight. Because werewolves, for some reason, are super freaking... Difficult to kill. Um, but I don't really know where this difficult to kill so far because I haven't really got that far in the game yet. I'm still in this first area in my playthrough. Whoa, god damn it. Whoa, Black Betty. Bow, bow. Whoa, okay, 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 alright, okay. Okay, fuck you. Okay, yep, 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 go down. So I got my blood souls. So every time I die, the person that killed me gets my blood souls. And then I have to go get them back. And I know there's two guys over here that are laying about. So these first, like, hu regular human guys are really easy to kill. Um, but then the monsters, like, that come afterwards get more and more increasingly difficult. Can I activate this now? Yep, I can. Awesome. So I'll climb this, and I believe my first, the first uh, save spot is up here. And, um, wow, look how much, what the hell is that? Still don't know what that is. And this is my first lamp. This is my first lamp that I got the light. So that's what we're in the episode is right here. Upon death, you awaken at this lamp. All right, awesome. And I will see you guys in the next video. Ta-ta.